Alright, we're ready. We're just getting out. Usual morning routine here. Gets the job done. I'm Brendan Loney. Right now I'm actually a junior at Gustavus Adolphus and I'm studying business management. It takes me about an hour on a good day to get out and around. I'm more so, I'm more of a hat and shoe kind of guy. I don't know if you saw the shoes on the bottom there. So I hope to do something with sales or face to face or other things like that just because I think I'm pretty good person to person, outgoing, and so talking to people is pretty easy. And uh, I'm looking up uh, Facebook and stuff like that just to see what's going on. Uh, fantasy football draft this weekend, so that's exciting. I've had Rio for about four months now. I got him through Helping Paws, um, and he is now my service dog. He's awesome. It's about that time to head out to the Courage Center. I was at a buddy's cabin. We were just having a good time out by the lake and then got late and one of my buddies decided he was like, you know, let's, do you want to go swimming? And I said, sure, because that's what you, we always used to do. So I remember getting my suit on. I remember running down the hill, running down the dock. I dove in the water and, then, and I couldn't move my body. Then I was placed up on the dock and I kept saying, like I can't move my body and all my friends were like quit joking around. I remember my neck being in a lot of pain. Right away when I was in the ICU, they told me I'd never move anything. Transition from going through an injury like that to being the person that I am now and what I was before, it's, it, it was hard. I had no patience before I was playing hockey for my college. I haven't been in my pool since the injury, which was two years ago, and the steps that I'm taking to get into my pool are through the Courage Center. Brendan always loved the water, and he's a strong swimmer. Last summer, his friends would come over and they'd partake in the pool and they'd have fun. On a hot day, they just get suits on, jump right in. I hang out in the shade. He wanted us to just, hey guys, just put me in the pool. He's like, Dad, let's get get a couple of my buddies. I can get in the pool. And I just said, no, we'll go through the training at right. Courage. Center. So we told him, you go through the training at Courage, and then we'll put you in the pool. You're only going to be able to shrug your shoulders, and you're going to be living on a bed. That's what I was told when I was in the ICU. So hopefully we can keep proving doctors wrong. Kind of going through the process of okay, I can move my arms in the water, I can swim a little bit. Uh, I need this to keep me afloat though. Uh, sometimes I lean this way, sometimes I lean that way. Well, how do I fix it? So then I, you know, counterbalance myself. So those are the steps that I'm taking at Courage Center to help get me in my pool. So yeah, I just got out of the pool. Uh, it was a good day in there, I got a couple laps swam, and then we're going to head up and do the ABLE program. The ABLE treatment is amazing. I just got ready to get up hoisted into the ABLE program, so now, now that I got the harness on, it'll be able to be attached to a clip. It'll be able to hold my weight up, and now I'm just getting ready to get up there and start walking. I sit all day long. So one day a week I get to stand up and I actually get to walk over a mile. And for that, for my joints and all the pressure, being able to put all my weight on my legs, and having blood go through my whole body and run back up and just get healthy and get like a regular stomach and everything is just sitting right natural how it used to be. It's, it's amazing and I have a lot of fun doing it. PTs and the OTs and, and everybody were young, energetic, really got into their, their patients' lives. And, and, and we see that at the Courage Center, and that's why Brendan, he looks forward to it. It's kind of going to see the people that are helping him get stronger. Well, I talk to my friends about stuff, and they just, you know, a lot of times they're like, okay, well, we have one friend in a wheelchair. And when I go to Courage Center, it's like everyone that works there deals with people in wheelchairs all the time. I love the staff. I get you get really close with the staff. It's 
Every time you go in there, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. We're gonna sit Brandon up and we're gonna do some uh, balancing exercises at the edge of the mat. You're good. This is kind of what I was doing when I was in the pool. You know, I was sitting on the edge there. All of the preventative care, such as the ABLE program, it gets him up, it gets his blood, I mean, every aspect of it is, is good and positive and keeps him healthy and out of the hospital, and yet none of it is covered by health insurance. Yet, if he didn't do any of it, remained in a hospital bed on a ventilator doing nothing, that would be fully covered. Courage Center has been extremely supportive. They're very helpful, you know, it's, it's when you purchase something, they let you know what to expect in regard to, to what's being covered, what's not being covered. Coming home, eat dinner with my family. Brandon wasn't able to do a whole lot besides move his chair, you know, the stick on his chair to drive his chair. He didn't really have any upper body strength, any core strength. I mean, now he's able to feed himself, he's able to brush his own teeth. Now that he's done that, I think next year their plan is to get a lift so that he's able to get in the pool with his family and his friends and feel safe being in there. Strides that he's made with Courage Center for the last two years have been astronomical. If somebody would have told me the day that we were in critical care that he would be where he is today, I would have kissed the ground that they walked on. We, we call it rehab. When, when is it not rehab? When is it a gym? I, I would love Courage Center to go on for the rest of his life. Never give up, never give up. My name is Brendan Loney, and I am Courage Science.